Over the last few days, Carlos Sainz has discussed what it's like to wear the red of Ferrari as rumours of a move to Audi when the team enters Formula One continue to circulate. Sainz, who joined Ferrari from McLaren back in 2021, has taken a step back along with his team this season, as Red Bull have dominated the 2023 campaign so far, while McLaren, Aston Martin and even Mercedes have made greater strides to catch up with Max Verstappen and co compared to the Scuderia. Sainz has also seen on a number of occasions himself sacrificing his race or qualifying to support Charles Leclerc, his teammate leading to fans wondering if Ferrari have decided to make their driver set up a driver number one and driver number two sort of situation, especially as the Monagas driver has outperformed his car this season when compared to his Spanish teammate. With Audi joining the sport in 2026, it opens up the grid to a potential reshuffle, with the Spanish driver heavily linked with the German car giant. But Sainz has affirmed that he's still relishing the chance to be a part of the most iconic team in motorsport. I'm very proud, very proud, especially making it to a team like Ferrari wearing red every weekend. It is true that it's also demanding. It's a very demanding team from a mental point of view because there's more pressure surrounding it. You need to be in the peak of your career, I think, to be fully committed to being a Ferrari driver. I think I'm at that stage. I'm still very young, but at the same time experienced, and I'm maximising it as much as I can. Science is talking the talk for now with Ferrari, but there is plenty of time between now and 2026 for the grid to look a little different, and it doesn't seem like Ferrari want to lose Charles Leclerc anytime soon. Despite the monotony of Red Bull winning every single Grand Prix this season so far, Liberty Media have announced that they have seen growth in the US TV audience in 2023 compared to last season, while F1 attendances continue to hit almost maximum capacity with races selling out week after week. Greg Maffey, the Liberty Media CEO, reported to investors that the sport has seen solid growth in the USA this season, with audiences tuning in to ESPN for race days in greater numbers than a year ago. The 2023 season has already seen three of the four largest TV audiences in F1 history on US TV, said the Liberty Media boss, including Miami, Monaco and the Canadian Grand Prix. All but two of our races have averaged more than 1 million viewers. Liberty are putting the increase in viewers down to, in part, the controversial sprint weekends that have divided opinion in the traditional F1 fan base. But the longer, more exciting weekends of action are keeping newer fans tuned in for longer over the three days of the weekend. The sprint weekends are driving year over year growth in viewership. For example, the Spa total audience across race, sprint shootout and qualifying was up versus the Belgian Grand Prix last year. America will continue to have a huge impact on the F1 season, with the sport heading to Texas and Las Vegas towards the end of the year, with the race on the strip attracting huge attention already. With three big races and an American on the grid in Logan Sargent, the attempt to bring Formula One into the mainstream of US sports is clearly working at the moment for Liberty Media. Remember, if you want to catch up with everything going on in Formula One, hit the subscribe button down below to stick with us here at the YouTube channel, or get onto gpfans.com and gpfans global across social media for the latest in Formula One news.